A microbiologist has 1,256 microbes growing in culture. When he checks again, after 15 minutes, there are 2,283 microbes in the same culture. So they, they're growing pretty fast. Estimate the difference between the number of microbes at each check by rounding each number to the nearest 10. So what they want us to do, they want us to round each number to the nearest 10, and then with the rounded numbers, find the difference between the two checks. So let's round each of these numbers. So we started with 1,256 microbes. So 1,256 microbes. So how do we round this to the nearest 10? That's what they want us to do. So you look at the tens place. The tens place is that 5 right there. So we're, if we round it up, it would go to a 6. If we round it down, it would stay at a 5. If we round it up, this would be 60. If we round it down, this will be 50. And the rule for rounding is you look at the place one below that. You go to the ones place in this case. And you see if that is 5 or more, than, or 5 or greater. And it is. It's 6, which is definitely 5 or greater. So we want to round up. So we want to. Round, round up. And we're rounding up to the nearest 10. So this will be, go from 56 to 60. So it'll be 1,260. We've rounded up. Now, when we wait 15 minutes, we check and we see that there are 2,283 microbes. 2,283 microbes. Once again, Let's look at the tens place. That's the 8 right there. Let me do that in a different color. That is the 8 right there. And you look at the place 1 below that. If that's 5 or greater, you round up. Otherwise, you round down. This right here, 3 is less than 5. So you want to round down. Round. We want to round down. So we're going to be left with 2,200. Instead of 83, we're just going to have 80. 2,280. Now, they want us to estimate the difference between the number of microbes at each check by rounding each number to the nearest 10. So we've, we've done that part. We've rounded each number to the nearest 10. Now we have to find the difference. So let's subtract the first check from the second check. That's how we get a positive number. So let's do that. So if we subtract this, this 1260, let me just copy and paste it. So we want to subtract this, copy it, and paste it. We want to subtract that from the 2,280 to figure out the difference. So we're going to subtract here. Let me put the subtraction sign. And let's do some subtraction. So you go first to the ones place. 0 minus 0. Well, that's just going to be 0. 8 minus 6 in the tens place. It's really 80 minus 60. That's going to be 2. But since it's in the ten place, it's 20. Or you can just do 80 minus 60 is 20. So everything makes sense so far. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So when we rounded each number to the nearest 10 and then took the difference, our estimated difference is 1,020.